Alright, so what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary EA, and it looks like things are just getting worse for Michigan fans out there. It looks like Isaiah Todd, five-star prospect, he's going to be decommitting from Michigan, and he's looking at places to go overseas, and I would not be surprised if he ends up on the Illawarra Hawks, the team that Lamella Ball played for, or one of, or one of the vast majority of teams that will be looking for his services, and it's... and. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Uh, yesterday, last night, Josh Christopher did just announce that he's going to Arizona State. And I do believe that Isaiah Todd was waiting and holding out for Josh Christopher to be coming with him. But now that that's not happening, looks like he will be exploring his, uh, his options overseas. And let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Personally, I'm not sure how I really feel about this. Um, I do like the movement of players going overseas opposed to them going to college first off there might not even really be like a college season and the same thing goes for playing overseas so that's even a bigger risk now uh because we really don't know when the ncaa or when basketball is really going to resume in general but i do like the move of players going overseas i do think that if you are a five-star rated player and you really believe that you got the talent to eventually make the nba why waste time in college if you truly believe that you can be a top five top 10 pick if you believe that you are that good i mean yeah playing at duke playing at kentucky the the atmosphere is great but in reality do you really want to be a student do you what if you are so good like zion to where you're making duke hella money and you weren't getting a piece of that like at some point players do want to get paid and i can understand todd like Maybe if Christopher is coming with me, another five-star rated player, another top 10 player in my class is coming with me. If that ain't the case, I mean, I could just go ahead and see what's out there overseas and even get some bread. Regardless, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. This channel is all about sports, so every once in a while I do break breaking news that I think is actually important. And I think another five-star player going overseas is a big deal. Like, I really do. At one point, Isaiah Todd was the number one player in this class that was like three to four years ago um but i don't know it, it really depends on where he actually goes to and how good he truly believes he is i'm not sure if his draft stock improves overseas the same way lamello does because i do believe one of the biggest reasons why uh his ranking dropped was because of the level of competition he was playing but we're going to see. I still think that he's really talented. And hopefully it works. So hopefully he's another player that goes overseas and just dominates. And he, he gets his name in that top 10, top 5 range. But we're just going to go ahead and see. Another move that I really liked this weekend uh, was Zaire Williams going to Stanford. He's still in the Pac-12. So if you're going to go to one of those big schools going to the Pac-12, he's going to dominate. He's, he's going to a great school as well. Even if it's just for six months. Um... Regardless, I think that this was a great week for high school basketball players aren't going to those stacked colleges anymore uh, Like I said Josh Christopher, he, he went to Arizona State not really a crazy good basketball school um, Now Isaiah Saad is going overseas and Zaire Williams goes to Stanford as a five-star top five or top six rated player in his class I think that this was a really really good week for basketball in general players are exploring all their options and i think long term it's gonna have really good effects but like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go and like it up and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace y'all